Hello, my name's Ian Corrigan from Rossendale Rapid Fire, and today's video is on loading gadgets. And so these are small gadgets that will help you load a single round, also known as the single round dilemma. Now, as the vast majority of competitor shooters will quad load, um, then there leaves a bit of a question as to what you're going to do if you only want to load a single round. Um, this could be a single round at the beginning of the stage, or it could be a round at the end of the stage. Uh, those single rounds can be a real pain in the bum. Uh, note that these are all dummy rounds uh, that we're using today, and so there's absolutely no danger from that. Um, we're not going to cover any uh, caddies in this uh, review. This is only on-gun equipment and on-person equipment, not including caddies. Two things before we proceed. Number one, uh, that is actually how you spell dilemma. There's no N in it. And uh, if you're wondering why there's a small rubber duck on the screen, then that's because Mr. Ducky is standing in for match savers. I personally don't have a match saver. I don't shoot standard. Uh, they don't work very well on a standard manual and definitely not uh, on an open gun. So uh, I've got Mr. Ducky standing in for me. He's going to be uh, taking us across to Keith Garcia's webpage to have a look at uh, what a match saver is all about and, and that will uh, sort of fill in the blanks on on that. And here we have Keith Garcia to explain the match saver. Hi, Keith Garcia here from Team Vertex. I want to discuss today a little piece of gear I found at the last match. It's called the match saver. It's a little piece of plastic you'll see affixed to my uh, M2 Benelli here from Terran Tactical Innovations. It's a great gun. Made it just a little bit better by attaching what's called the match saver. It's a little piece of plastic that holds one round very securely. Fire multiple rounds through a stage of fire is not going to come out. But when you need it, when you make that mistake and run dry on that last target, you got to get some rounds in the gun or get one round to finish the stage. It makes it amazingly smooth. Draw your hand back, grab the round, slip it in the ejection port, hit the extended paddle there, and you're good to go. Okay, point to note, of course, Keith Garcia is extremely talented and is also a world champion. So uh, purchasing a match saver isn't guaranteed to make you as fast as him, uh, but it is definitely a good option to consider. Okay, so this is my uh, Benelli Supernova for a standard manual. Uh, let's see that the action is empty. Um, now, it's a pump-action shotgun, so the fore-end uh, moves back and forth. Um, it is a pump-action after all. And that uh, means that the likes of your match savers are not ideal for a pump. Uh, mainly being is you've got uh, a kind of clip mounting the round somewhere. Um, th there's not really enough space to fit here. That's actually where the barrel fits in, so you're not going to be drilling into this section here. Um, most people, when they do mount them, mount them up the front here um, in a sort of clippy sort of design. Uh, the issue, of course, is, is that as this action goes back and forwards, um, no matter how strong the grip of the uh, match saver is, these rounds slowly but surely work their way backwards um, until they, they sort of fall off and, and leave the gun um, and of course not a lot of point having a match saver if uh, the round's not there when you want to uh, have your match saved so something to bear in mind um, they don't tend to work very well with pumps I have seen it tried uh, I've not actually seen it being very, very successful. Um, an alternative to that is rather than waiting till you run out, um, first obviously plan uh, and make sure you don't run out, but in the event that you do have an issue and you are running low, then perhaps an extra round at the beginning might have been useful. So um, this is uh, a, a device here, uh, it's called a port loader. Um, and it's a, it's a little device that is uh, effectively a, a strip uh, of Velcro um, and a tiny magnet and the design is, is it, it simply holds the round next to the port. Now the King Competition ones uh, were uh, early out of the uh, gates, they were the first design of this uh, this design. There are other designs available, um, uh, I know that uh, Maglode make one a little bit bigger, uh, actually it looks a little bit more like this uh, mounted on the side. Um, and uh, I've seen people make their own. And to be honest, all it is is just a way of mounting a magnet right next to your port. So I pop this on just for the purposes of an option three start. I don't use it any other time. I take it off. It's got a hole in it, kind of handy, as if you thought about this. And I clip it uh, to my breech flag. Uh, so I've always got it. So it's, it's kind of handy in that regard. You can just pop it on uh, and use it. Uh, 
it's completely within the rules. There's no issues about rules in relation to using these, uh, at least in IPSC. Uh, it might be a situation where you're at your local club and somebody says, oh, I don't like that, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So the idea is it, just, it simply mounts the round right next to the port. Um, the rules state that the breech must be empty and the magazine must be empty, uh, and that is an empty breech, and that is an empty magazine. So you're absolutely meeting the rules there. Um, it's a very light magnet, so it doesn't take much to knock it in. Um, so the advantage is that it goes in with very little uh, action at all. Uh, you forward the action there, you've got a round in the chamber, and then you're able to do your, your quad load. Depending on the shape of the stage, that might mean that you're able to complete the stage without having to top up any further. And that could give you an absolutely uh, sort of key advantage uh, in the stage going forwards. Um, it could be a situation where... Uh, you just simply want to give yourself a little bit of extra leeway. So that single round, popping that into the chamber at the beginning, um, uh, just gives you that advantage. Now, as with all pieces of equipment, this is not, uh, you're not going to be able to buy this and suddenly be rescued from having to train. Uh, you have to train with these. Uh, you can get it wrong. Um, you can knock it with the wrong hand. Um, you can uh, knock it in such a way that it, it goes backwards. I actually did that in a stage. Um, I really wish I hadn't even put it on at that point, but that's because I hadn't trained sufficiently hard. Um, but as you can see, it just simply takes a small knock, the rounds in, and then load, 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 load. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Okay, so an alternative to the uh, port loader is uh, something that uh, Magpul has made, which is the Primus loader. These come in different colours, but effectively it's the same same concept. Um, it's a little device uh, holding um, around onto something with magnets. So you've got the two little magnets there, and your little sort of recess to hold it. Um, it's sort of slightly angled so it doesn't catch with your, your wrist too much. And the logic behind this is that uh, there could be a stage where you say, well I'm not allowed to use this because no rounds are allowed to be mounted on the gun. That's in the stage brief. The match director, Mr. Ducky, has said, no, you're not having one of those. So uh, you, there's no rounds on the gun, but you can have rounds on your body. So that's back to your, your quad loading and maybe that magnet. It could be a situation where you say, well, you know, I'm going to poise my fingers, just poised, you know, not touching, over that single round. I'm going to grab that, pop it in the chamber, then I'm going to reach back to my belt and I'm going to load uh, my quads. That might work. That could be good for you. Uh, that might be how you choose to do that stage. Alternatively, uh, having a round mounted here, it's actually quite strongly mounted, so you're able to move around. And I'd say that the sort of the two magnets here are more effective than the single magnet there. Um, you often feel it's very precarious with that, whereas uh, here it's quite well mounted. There you go. Um, and it's designed to come off, and it's designed to come off when you basically uh, sort of come up to the gun and then slap that in like so. Uh, and the idea is you're supposed to sort of smack your hand on it and it'll go in. Um, of course, without any training, that's not going to happen. Okay, another uh, device perhaps worthy of consideration is the stage burner. So this is a, a polymer device uh, attached to a trigger guard. They're specifically designed to fit with different guns, so you'd have to choose the correct one for your gun. Uh, it attaches via a sort of very sticky tape. Uh, it has two rare earth magnets and holds the rounds, as you can see on the screen. Now, uh, I've never actually seen these used in the UK or in Europe, actually. Um, possibly because it doesn't really solve that single round dilemma which is an empty chamber uh, it, it instead uh, solves a, a sort of a loading dilemma of you want to get a couple of extra rounds in quickly now this is originally designed for three gun uh, and it works well for three gun because you'll often have a grounded gun uh, it'll have um, so many rounds in the gun say they're eight um, and the safety catch is on as you pick the gun up, you might want to ram a couple more in. You're not allowed to have more in the tube, but you can have more mounted. So that gives you 10, and you effectively haven't actually reached near your belt. So it, it works well in that scenario. Um, I'm struggling personally to see how it works with IPSC, but for completeness, I wanted to include this in here because it is effectively uh, a loading gadget. I'm going to introduce you to the stage burner. It's an ejection molded piece with two rare earth magnets that affixes to the bottom of a trigger guard of a shotgun and attaches two extra rounds for loading at the beginning of a stage. All right, it's, a, it's affixed with two-sided tape, and if applied properly, it's 
very secure. I've been shooting this one for a couple weeks. It hasn't moved around at all. It seems like it's going to stay on there and have no issues. Uh, to load the gun, it takes about a second to get on the beat to get an extra couple rounds in there to start the stage. All I'm going to do is roll the gun over, push down the front round, push, push my thumb behind the rear round, and push him in there. Now, those of you who know me know I don't load strong hand because my right hand seems kind of stupid. So even I can do this and get him in the gun must mean it's pretty easy. So uh, two rounds right at the beep, to, just under a second to get up there and get that shot off. Really will work well. It's gonna be $59.99. It's uh, for sale for the M2 uh, on July 4th and for six additional models come August. Uh, Okay, so let's have a look at side saddles. So a side saddle is a uh, way of mounting shotgun rounds on the side of your shotgun. Um, they can be made out of sort of tough plastic and metal, uh, or they can be made uh, sort of from fabric, so very much like a sort of loop belt. Um, it's backed with Velcro uh, on this particular version and on this one so that it can be mounted on the side of the shotgun. Um, uh, you can get ones that are designed to fit exactly to the shotgun and the, uh, the sort of hole here for example and there's a hole behind there um, is designed to go through the gun and you have extra long pins and, and it sort of all fits together and it doesn't come off. Um, the original idea behind uh, side saddles were that you've got ammunition on the gun ready to go. So they're designed for sort of, uh, you know, scenarios with law enforcement and perhaps home defence in which you just want to grab your gun and you've got sufficient rounds to deal with what you need to. Um, the truth is, uh, whilst they might look nice and sexy and uh, all tactical, um, they're actually not a lot of use in a, uh, in a competition environment. Mr Ducky uh, doesn't really approve of these, he's a bit of a, an elitist, uh, but really um, they're, they're, they're not very good because they're, they're very heavy. You see, you've got quite a lot of extra rounds mounted here. Um, additional weight on one side of the gun, uh, giving you sort of a slightly unbalanced uh, sort of uh, uh, setup. And then also, they're slow to load. If you, you really are operating on a speed principle here, um, you're trying to get around into the breach quickly, and the rounds are over on this side. So I've seen uh, plenty of people sort of practice and train with these, in which they'll sort of take a round out and pop it in over the top. Um, the issue is, is it's a bit slow. Um, and really, if you're if you're putting in more than one or two rounds, um, you know, from a from a sort of stage, then you really should be using your your quad loading because the quad loading is infinitely faster. So sort of taking a round out, popping it in underneath, um, or taking a round out and popping it in over the top, um, you're doing sort of quite a movement there. The round has to sort of come out, first it has to come out, then you have to turn the round, and then put the round in. Um, and it's just too slow, so, so basically we don't see many side saddles in practical. Um, the rules do allow them. Uh, if you have a side saddle, you don't need to take it off. Uh, if you have a side saddle and you want to use it, Absolutely fine, no problem at all. Um, it's just that they're, you know, they're, they're, they're definitely not the fastest way of achieving your objective. Okay, another alternative is uh, a, a few rounds or a single round or two rounds mounted on the belt uh, rather than uh, a full quad load. Now. Certain competitors do quite like this as a, as a sort of method of doing a quick top up. Um, here I've got a two up load from Ghost. Uh, simply grab those uh, and pop them in. Um, I can, I've actually got this belt set up so that I would do that with my right hand. Um, can be quite useful for certain reasons that you, you know, I'm sure you understand um, that you may want to load with the wrong hand. So I actually have these set up in twos. Um, another alternative is the likes of uh, Prodec. This is actually a Prodec clips. Um, originally these would be mounted all on a big long belt, uh, much much more uh, sort of convenient than a fabric belt because they, they detach very easily, they always hold very neatly and they never get distorted, they're very sort of good. I actually got this mounted on a piece of plastic card with a bit of velcro on the back uh, and that actually sort of sticks to my belt uh, on the opposite side round. So I've got a couple of rounds just to start off with on a stage and that's actually, a, a, I personally use that pre uh, beep. Um, some competitors may say, well, I'd, I'd like, you know, a quick round top up on one dry. I'm just going to grab a single round and I'm going to grab it off there. 
Another alternative to that sort of concept of uh, a single round from the belt uh, is uh, this magnet. Now the magnet's actually from uh, King Competition. It comes with a little sort of mounting bracket uh, and effectively cable ties onto your belt. Um, uh, you could easily make one of these yourself. You just need a bit of plastic really, a bolt um, and then an industrial magnet. So uh, nothing too special there, but it does allow you to just grab the round uh, and then just pop it in. Now as it happens, I use this as my first round um, when I'm loading. Uh, so I'll take that round off there, pop it in the breech uh, and you're ready to go and then you, you quad load away. I, I like that, I, I personally find that very useful. Um, now that might be sort of on an option one, uh, if it's an on option three start so the gun is completely empty, uh, I might grab one from here, uh, I might use uh, one of the port loading devices, um, I might do a couple of different things. So uh, you know, in, in depending on the length of your tube, uh, my Supernova has 12 plus one, so I can do three quad loads plus a round in the chamber. Uh, if the stage is 13, I probably want to do put that round in the chamber if it's a complicated stage and there's plenty of room to, to reload. Uh, I may say no, I'm going to leave the chamber empty, pop them in and then move on from there and, and then actually load uh, four quad loads rather than just three. Uh, so good to know that these things exist. Simply it's just a magnet, holds around uh, uh, upright. Just be aware there are IPSC rules in relation to how far ammunition can be away from your body and that's the furthest extent of the rounds um, and there's always a danger that if that's on your body uh, that's sticking out possibly too far from your body just check that measurement um, it's important to, to bear that in mind notice that the actual length is uh, 70 mil um, plus sort of that amount there you could be in danger of having your ammunition too far away from your body so that's one to bear in mind I have been called up about that on, um, on a match, uh, I was fine, but uh, if you're shooting uh, standard manual, uh, you don't want to inadvertently get put into open. Uh. And there you have it, some uh, interesting loading gadgets to help the practical shooter. As usual, I often get asked where can you buy these things, so uh, AW Armoury, Easy Load, Mag Load, all.co.uk's. Uh, practical Shooting Supplies is the website's actually called Practical Sporting Supplies. Uh, Masterclass Custom Guns uh, is customguns.co.uk. KingCompetitionProducts.com, Stage Burner, and Brownells for those uh, um, side saddles if you're feeling that way inclined. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video of interest. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, if you'd like to know more about Rosendale Rapid Fire, we have a website and we also have a Facebook page. Thanks for watching.